community staple. It's just too bad that this right here had to happen because it took away from the community. Now destroyed by an early morning fire. It was surprising to see it. You know what I'm saying? Um, I just went to the store yesterday. It's known as Sigourney Market, and it's been around for decades. Above, there are vacant apartments, but below is a grocery store nourishing the neighborhood. We offer a little bit of everything. We have meats, grocery, frozen food, fresh produce, um, candy, whatever you can think of. Hartford firefighters got the call around 3 a.m., but they responded to the scene within four minutes. But it was those hot spots coming out of the structure that kept them here for hours trying to put them out. It was a really stubborn fire doing due to the fact that it had a metal roof and the metal roof kind of holds a lot of hot spots. It sent two firefighters to the hospital with minor injuries, but they're expected to be OK. The commotion waking neighbors up since the smoke could be seen and smelled for miles throughout the capital city. It's a sad and happy feeling because as soon as I walked in, everybody's like telling me that they're sorry, but it shows that everybody in the community cares because not that many people are fortunate enough to be able to go to different places and buy things. This was the place, and though it may be the end of the building, it might not be the end for this family-owned market. It's a closed door, but you know what they say, a closed door opens a new one down the line. In Hartford, Julia LeBlanc, Fox 61 News.